Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Kol Hala Yamla Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Barakah Hakodash, which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Barakah Hakodash means in the Holy Spirit, Spirit of Truth, only way we can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. It's Brother Mathathi from the Great Millstone Camp to Branch on Des Moines. And um not sure I'm entitled to this lesson just yet, but it's pretty much a response, you know, um, to the lesson, you know, me and the, uh, the other two brothers within my camp did yesterday entitled Vexed. You know, and um it's gonna be a, a tie-in, you know, uh a tie-in response lesson to um Elder Yashawamba's lesson as well where he spoke about, you know, these mysteries make us foolish to the world. You know, and uh, I want to start off in the precept we started off in, in the lesson yesterday, which is 2 Peter 2 and 7. I'll start at 6. It says, And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. Now, we know what Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed for, man. The acts and, 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 and perverseness, you know, that was uh, being done within that city. You know, and guess what? America embodies uh, uh, all of that, man. You know, even worse, seeing that we in the last days, seeing according to the prophecy in the second edge of the 14th chapter, it says, matter of fact, let's get that. The second is 14 and 16. It says, For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein, man. <laughs> you see? It says, For the time is fled far away, and leasing is hard at hand. That word leasing means lies. Lies is hard at hand. For now hasteth the vision to come which thou hast seen. You know? So just showing you that it's even worse in this time, man. This modern day Sodom, you know, is 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 worse, you know, than what a lot was experiencing, right? But this verse seven, it's like it is verse seven, and delivered just a lot, right? Goes into how he was righteous, observing divine laws, keeping the commands of the Most High, you know. So that's what made him just. What made him just was faith. Right, in the ways of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah is the same thing as us. That's what that's what's going to make us just. It's faith in what's written. You know, our obedience is what makes us, you know, just in the sight of the Lord, man, through faith, right? And delivered just a lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Now, I want to deal with that word vexed right here. As you can see, it says to tire down with toil, exhaust with labor, to afflict or oppress with evils. <laughs> right to treat roughly the strong's definition to labor down that is wear with toil man figuratively to harass and that's exactly what's been taking place here in this society not only how this society is set up right we're the uh, uh, uh the last high the first five you know we're constantly um harassed uh, uh, uh by the uh the police you know not only that but also when we depart from evil, right? Let's get that. This is the book of Isaiah 59 and 15. It says, yea, truth faileth, right? And that's when people here don't want to hear the truth. According to Amos, it says what? They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. They abhor him that speaketh uprightly, man. So these people don't want to hear the right things. They don't want to hear the truth. And, that, and, and, and what did Paul say? Matter of fact, let's hold that right there. It's the book of Galatians, chapter 4 and 16. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? <laughs> and that's exactly what happens within a society, man. <laughs> you know, we become the enemies of, this, of these people, man. Why? Because we speak truth. Because we hold forth to what's right, man. And that's why it speaks about they, um, 
as a whore envy at the right and honest woman. <laughs> you know, it says a uh, righteousness is abomination unto a sinner. Roughly paraphrasing, man. And we seeing how this society is establishing, how this is set up and for doing what's right in the sight of the Lord. Right. We being condemned for it, man. That's a part of the vexation as well. That's that's a part of being uh, wore out, wore down and and and, and, and war. And um, what was those? Uh, Salaki. Just want to get those definitions again. To to tire down with toil, exhaust with labor, <laughs> to afflict or oppress with evils, man. Wear with toil. Right. And that's another aspect of it. Right. But this Isaiah 40, uh, I'm sorry, 59 and and 15 yea truth faileth and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey you see that and yahweh basham yahweh saw it and it deplete and it displeased him that there was no judgment man you see and why isn't it why isn't why isn't there judgment this is the book of habakkuk one my english is trash man salakia this is a uh, habakkuk one and i'll start at one it says, the burden which Habakkuk the prophet did see. O Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, how long shall I cry and thou will not hear? Even crowd unto thee of violence and thou will not save. And that's what it seems like, man. You know, we crying out to the Lord, man. You know, continually we're, we're asking him how long and, you know, look at the atrocities that's, that, that's being committed here. Look at the perverseness that they're spreading. You know? Hey, but our, our cries is not on deaf ears, man. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is hearing everything, man. It says that the souls of the just complain continually. It speaks about how the the, uh, the prayers of the humble pierces the clouds in the book of Sirach. I believe it's the 35th chapter. You know, so the Lord hearing our cries, man. You know, he's just bound by his, by his word. Everything is done in a proper measure, man. You know, but keep in mind those cries, right? And us speaking his truth, man, it, it is making things move throughout the earth. You know, because that's according to how the Lord wrote it. But this verse three, why doest thou show me iniquity and cause me to behold grievance for spoiling and violence are before me. And there are that rise up strife and contention. <laughs> you see, so what Habakkuk is vexed, man. <laughs> you see. And we have examples of this with all, you know, different of, uh, you know, our righteous forefathers within their times, man. Being vexed with the uh, 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 the wickedness that was going on, right? That they was experiencing, that they were, uh, 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 you know, witnessing with their eyes, man. And how they were persecuted for speaking the truth. Verse 4. Therefore the law is slacked, and judgment doeth never go forth. For the wicked doeth compass about the righteous. Therefore wrong judgment proceedeth, man. You see that? So the wicked is ruling, man. <laughs> you know? And that's a part of what? This vexation. That's a part of uh, uh, us being exhausted with labor, man. Tired down with toil. Because as it is written in Daniel, it says what? They, they shall wear out the saints. Let's grab that. Not only physically, but also, man, you know, through the wickedness that's going on throughout this place, man. This Daniel 7. And 25, and he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. When you go into the word wear out, to harass constantly, man, <laughs> right? To afflict, which is the same thing as vexed. Right? But that's the beauty of uh, the comforter that we have, man. You know? We have the Holy Spirit to comfort us throughout this vexation. You know, we have the Holy Spirit to strengthen us in those times we weak, you know, to encourage us in those times that we want to faint. <laughs> so the water, you know, because we got to understand the balance of, your, uh, of the Lord, man. And how these people, they, what it says, man, they foot shall slide in due time, man. Let's finish this out. It says, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and dividing of times. Let's see. Where is that written at? Foot shall slide. I want to say that's written in the law. Yep. Okay, Salaki. Uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 35. 
It says, to me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time. <laughs> you see? So even though we're seeing this wickedness, man, and everything spiraling out of control, right? The Lord said in due time, man. See, it also says um, perverting of judgment. Let's grab that. Yep, Ecclesiastes 5 and 8. If thou seest the oppression of the poor and violent perverting of judgment and justice in a province, and that's exactly what's going on here in America, man. You know, a district, a judgeship, a jurisdiction, a region, <laughs> right? Over here within this region, man. You know, it says... Um, marvel not at the matter for he that is higher than the highest regardeth and there be higher than they so the Lord sees it all man so I'm gonna finish this out Deuteronomy 32 and 35 to me belongeth vengeance and recompense their foot shall slide in due time for the day of their calamity is at hand and the things that shall come upon them make haste man you see so the things that's about to come to this society man it's making haste to happen man you know so even though we're being pressed down, man, you know, we've been wear, uh, wear out the saints, as it says in that Daniel. But once again, going back into the definition of this word vexed to tire down with toil, exhaust with labors, man, <laughs> you see, and delivered just like vexed. He was wear down, right? Uh, tired down with toil, <laughs> afflict oppressed with evils, man, with the filthy conversation of the wicked and once again it's the same thing as us you know to the point where you don't even want to go on the internet man <laughs> you know you don't even want to the new movie you and you you looking forward to watching man you don't even want to watch it man because he'll throw he he throw some madness in there man that has nothing to do with nothing man for no reason he'll just throw it in there man like that didn't have no 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 point to the story. It didn't add to the story. It wasn't no arc, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, adding to the to the plot, you know. But uh, I'm gonna read this again. Second Peter two and seven, and this is all prophecy, man. Because <laughs> what Lot went through, it says what. Take our, uh, our brethren, the prophets, as an example. written in the book of james james 5 and 10 take my brethren the prophets who have spoken in the name of the lord for an example of suffering affliction and of patience behold we count them happy which endure ye have heard of the patience of Job, and have seen the end of the lord that the lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy man <laughs> you know so hey man all we got to do is persevere you know the Holy Spirit is what continually strengthens us, man. You know, allows us to, uh, uh, you know, to make it through our uh, 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 our daily routine. <laughs> you know, that 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 allows us, you know, uh, to have that comfort in our mind, man. When we're seeing this 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 this, this perverseness and, and wickedness increasing more and more, you know. But let's read this again. Second uh, Peter two and seven and delivered just Lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Now, this word vexed here is a different word, man. You know, then you see up here is, is vexed is a G2669. Down here, vexed is G928. Because what we're experiencing and what we're going through and us being vexed is a is a, a test of our spirit right because it tells us here in the, the definition to test metals right by the touchstone which is a black salacious stone used to test the purity of gold or silver by the color of the streak produced on it by rubbing it with either metal all right so we being that gold or silver the purity of it is being tested man what through this society right it says to question by applying torture. <laughs> right, man. Lord, how long will you have a Habakkuk one? Why are you allow me to see these things, man? <laughs> you see? It says to vex with grievous pains of body or mind, to torment, to be harassed, distressed. It says of those who at sea are struggled with the headwind. 
from to torture, pain, toil, torment, toss, and vex. You know? On top of once again, like we read in that uh Isaiah, when we depart from evil, you know, we, we make ourselves a prey. Now they look at us weird, man. This is the book of this is the book of first Peter four and three. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when we walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries, wherein they think it strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you, man. So that's this is going to test our character, man. When we come into the faith, man, and we acknowledge the, uh, uh, you know, the laws of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And we turn from those things that we were doing in the world and we start to be obedient to the Holy Spirit, man, the things that are written. Right. Reform our ways into what's written through faith. We become a prey and now these people start to speak evil of us, man. Now they think we weird. Now they think we're fools. Going back into, uh, uh, you know, Elder Yashawamba's lesson, man. See, through these mysteries and the things that we speak and how we carry ourselves we are considered strange to these people, man. We are considered fools to these people. Be shocked. To surprise or astonished by the strangeness or novelty of a thing. To be strange, you know. So, so they look at us weird, man. And since we were talking about Lot. Just like when Lot came to the people he knew and told them that Sodom was going to be destroyed. Now, this is the book of uh, Genesis 19. I started 12. And the men said unto Lot, Has thou here any besides son-in-law and thy sons and thy daughters and whatsoever thou hast in the city, bring them out of this place, right? So, they, so the angels told Lot, Look, man, hey, you, whoever you care for, man, whatever you got, Go, go, go get them, man, and, 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 and get out of here, man. Verse 13, for we will destroy this place because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai have sent us to destroy it. And once again, it's the same thing we're telling the people within the society. We told our loved ones, <laughs> right? But what happened, man? Majority of them, they, 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 they thought we was weird. They thought we were strange. You know, which is all according to prophecy. The Lord said he came to set at variance, you know, a man in his uh, uh, in his family, roughly paraphrasing, you know, a son and the father, the mother in law and, 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 and a daughter in law, roughly paraphrasing. Right. But once again, that's all a part of uh, uh, our testing, <laughs> you know, us being vexed and what we're experiencing within this society is all testing us. Like the scripture says, the Lord tried the hearts, man. You know. In the book of Job, it says, uh, uh, what is man that you should try him at every moment? So we, we are being tried in every aspect, man. We are being tested in every aspect because that's what that word try means. It's synonymous with the word tested. And these things are testing us to see if we're genuine, if we're true. If we truly believe in the things that's written, man. Are we going to continue in the, uh, 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 in the faith? Are we going to continue down a proper path even though when... When the majority of the world is is, is, is in opposition of, uh, of us, man. When we're talked down upon, we're becoming the off scoring. They make fun of us and mock us. Matter of fact, I'm going to keep reading verse 14. And Lot went out and spake unto his sons-in-law, which married his daughters, right? They were engaged. And said, up, get you out of this place. For Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah will destroy this city. But he seemed as one that mocked unto his sons-in-law, man. You know, when you go into that word mock, look, <laughs> to laugh, man, to laugh outright. So they thought he was crazy. The same the same thing as us, man. They see us out there with our garments. They see us out there with the signs. We see, uh, They see Cesare with the horns on them, you know, Serapis with the horns on them. They see the uh, uh, America will be destroyed by missile sign, you know. And they ride past, you can see the smirk on their face, they laugh, they mock. They talk shit against us, man. You know? But that's all a part of, you know, being made a fool for Yahweh Shah's sake. Right? 
seemed as one that mocked. And once again, that all goes back into our testing, <laughs> you know, that all goes back in, 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 into seeing if we're truly going to stand, you know, stiffly for Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, as it is, uh, as uh, Ezra seen him in second Ezra, the second chapter, you know, but let's grab this. How many precepts got fool in it? And Paul's letters. It's like Elder Yashawamba. He had went into the um he had went into fool and showed that the, the, the root word of fool goes back to mysterion, which goes into the uh, the Greek word for mysteries. Yep, first Corinthians one and eighteen, for the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. But unto us which are saved, it is the power of the most high. See, but that's through faith, man. Once again, the majority of the world look at this as foolish. But we look at this, <laughs> right, as life. <laughs> you see? And you can see Morea, which is Moros, which goes to the base. Mysterion, man. You see? Which goes into what? These mysteries that's combined only to the initiated and not to ordinary mortals, man, that El Yashwamba went into within his lesson. You know, first Corinthians one and 21 for after that, in the wisdom of the most high, the world by wisdom knew not the most high exactly because the, uh, um, what it says in Sirach 19, the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, man. And, and, and not, and, and nor any time the, um, the counsel of sinners is prudence, roughly paraphrasing it, but it says the world by wisdom knew not the most high. It pleased the most high by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe, man, you see? Verse 25, because the foolishness of the Most High is wiser than men, and the weakness of the Most High is stronger than men. <laughs> you know? So, hey, we'll be fools for Yahweh Shah's sake, man. You know? Matter of fact, Paul said that. No, that's a good one right there. Because we are looked at, we are looked at as fools, but the people who believe in the things we're saying, they are being made wise, man. <laughs> you know, we looked at as weak, but the people being made strong. You know, we looked at as despised, but the, but man, you know, these people are, what it says, um, he that feareth the Lord is honorable in the sight of the Lord. It's, a, it's in the uh, book of Sirach as well. But um, I think that's that's that, that, that's good enough. You know, I just you know wanted to uh, uh, add on to that, man. You know, do a response, mm -hmm. you know, to that. But Lord will, I hope this was edifying. You know, we got to remember, you know, to uh, uh, keep our emotions, you know, uh, within, you know, keep it keep it checked. It speaks about um, he that is able to rule his spirit. You know, so no matter how vex we become within this society you know we have to understand that this is all a part of what's written and that judgment is right around the corner um you know lot was vexed continually but yet look how he moved within that society this is the book of uh Proverbs 16 and 32, he that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh a city, man. So just imagine in the ancient world, you know, you had a guy that was able to uh, take a whole city. Cities back then were walled, man. <laughs> you know, you know how long you would have to uh, besiege a city in order to, to take that city? You know how much uh, resources and, and, and manpower, you know, a guy would need in order to conquer a city? But yet being able to rule one spirit, man, makes you mightier than that individual, man. That's heavy, man. Proverbs 25 and 28. He that have no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls, man. So keep in mind, you know, this is all a part of our testing. You know, we're going to be wore out, man. We're going to be wore down, you know, through all these things that we're seeing, man, hey, through our daily lives. But hey, it's the Holy Spirit that strengthened us, man. 
you know, when we are weak, then are we strong, as it is written. So, oh, well, I hope this was out of fine. The Wadi Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shai, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. I'm going to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shai, Baruch Ha Kodash, Daba Anas, to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity. Shalom.